Oh, it's, it's a good sized perch, guys. Hello guys, today we're making a hot glue jig. These are the tools I'm going to use. If you want to know how to make any of them, I leave the link in the description. The hook I have on the vise, it's a salmon double in size 2. We are going to use bright green sewn thread. I want this lever to be UV enhanced, it's gonna glow in the UV light. And also, it will save us a lot of bulk when we're wrapping around the hook. Layer of thread, guys, touching turns. We have brought the thread far as the bend, between the hook barb and the hook point. This is just your cock cape. We're going to take two feathers from the left side. Two feathers from the right side. That's the left, that's the right. The feathers have a curve and when we're gonna put them next to each other that curve will push into one another and it's gonna create a, a good tail. We're going to make the tips even. Lay it on the top. Take two turns. We want the tail, the full length of the hook. So about there. Two other feathers. And now tie it down with touching turns. This is pearl crystal flash. I got four strands here. Going to put them in the eye of the hook. Fold them over. And then tie them down, touching turns. And then more touching turns towards the eye. And now guys, I see there's still little gaps where the thread didn't cover all the body. I want it to be really bright. So we're going to do touching turns back and forward. And then that's the body done. Okay, we're at the eye. Let's take a few turns back. And then do a whip finish. And now here at the front, we are going to put bleeding gills. This is just a bright, Orange thread. Ten turns. And then two more turns. And then from here, straight into the whip finish.
this is just an olive marker we're going to color it on the top That way, guys, we have a darker back on the jig and a brighter belly with the bleeding gill. It's time to apply hot glue. This is your standard hot glue gun. It uses this kind of hot glue sticks. The hot glue applied, now I have to smooth it out with a candle. So what I've done, I've moistened the feathers and the flash, so when we reheat in the glue, the feather is not going to burn. I spread the glue, I let it cool down, so now it's solid again. Now it's time to put in the eyes. These are just your standard 5mm epoxy eyes. What I've done was, this is a toothpick with a bit of pink blue tack on it. I glued in with super glue, and to this blue tack I have attached the eye. So once the glue is hot, and we touch the glue with the eye, it should stick to it and come off the toothpick. Let's reheat the glue and attach the eyes. Here we go, and now we just have to reheat it a little bit more so the glue really grabs onto the eyes. And then once it cools down, the jig will be ready. Here we go guys, the jig is ready. It has a nice minnow-like profile has a tail that's going to move and stabilize the jig in the water, it has flash. And the hot glue body itself is very durable. And even if it gets messed up by the fish, all we have to do is reheat the glue again and then all the cuts will be sealed and the lure will be as good as new. Here we go guys, I made the jigs. And because we used a bright green thread, they all glow in the UV light. Let me show you. Now guys, if we shine on the tail, it doesn't glow, but as we bring the light towards the body, look at that, it starts to glow bright. <laughs> like as if there's a bulb inside that's lighting it up from the inside. Jigs are ready. Let's check size and weight. Usually I make five lures at a time. This time I made four, because I ran out out of salmon doubles and I only had four hooks left. It is around seven and a half, eight centimeters. 
On its own, it weighs 1.5 grams. With the 8 gram jig weight, it weighs 9.8, almost 10 grams. Let's put them on the box and take them out fishing. I'm gonna put them here with the Thunder Creek jigs. Okay guys, here we are <laughs> in the woods again on the way to the lake. This is our first little stream that we have to cross. It's September, so soon the trout season will come to an end, so we have to make the most of it. This little stream will bring us to the main lake and then there's a river that flows into the, into the lake. So I'm going to explore the, explore the river with the, with the spinner and see what we can catch. The river is near. I remember years ago I was coming here to fish almost every every month, every week. And all of this was just an open field. And now as the time have went by, the little trees are starting to grow just beside the river. I'm always amazed how nature always takes its course. And, and there is no force greater that, than the nature. So we shouldn't fight against it, we should learn to live with it. And coexist. That way, everyone be happy. The animals be happy, the planet will be happy, the fish will be happy, therefore the fish will be more, then the fishermen be happy, and the circle continues. But it's beautiful out here, guys. Every time I'm feeling down, when I come over here, it all goes away. And I just connect with nature. I, I see no people for the whole day. And that really, really is something special. Using a spinner, a spinner with the leader on, as there might be pike here. And if the trout is really switched on by your spinner, they don't really care for leader that much. for the owner, I think maybe it's thirsty. Or maybe the ship is just there by itself. Maybe it's calling for company. Wow, look at this feather, guys. This, this, could, be, this could be from a Huron. Let's keep it. Here we go guys, look at that. <laughs> the sheep have, have scared away all the fish with the noises.
crossing the river is easy guys when it's shallow That was a woodcock guys, what an absolute lightning fast bird. And you can't see them in the grass because they're so well camouflaged and they're small. And when you get too close, they shoot up and start flying. Oh, there's another one. A dust brush, hot glue head lure with a six gram weight. Let's see what we can do. Oh, finally guys, finally I got a bite. I can't believe this. <laughs> ah, come here. There he is guys. This is makeshift lures and I approve this jig. Oh, there's a perch guys, that's the second one. Look at that. Look at this bad boy. Oh, there's a fish guys, I can't believe it. Is it the perch or a pike? Let's see. Oh, it's, it's a good sized perch, guys. Oh, that's, that's unbelievable. On our unarticulated streamer, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Let me turn him around. <laughs> Look at that bad pike, guys. Oh, that was good, guys. Hopefully, there's another one. Let's see. This is makeshift lures and I approve this streamer. Come on perch, where are you? <laughs> you just have to call them guys and they appear. <laughs> Look at this guy on the back hook again. Hey guys, hot glue jig, 8 grams weight. Let's go. Wow, rainbow guys. That's awesome. You don't see rainbows too often. <laughs> you know what they say? If you want to see the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain.
even though the fishing day is slow today how can you be in bad spirits with the weather like this and a beautiful scenery you just need to enjoy enjoy every moment that's that's why we're fishing guys There's a fish guys, I couldn't believe it. It's like a perch. Oh, foul hooked one. <laughs> no. Well, I think he was definitely paying an interest to the jig. This is makeshift lures and I approved this hot glue jig. The day is coming to an end, a few casts and then it's home time. What can I say about today? Not every day you're gonna catch fish, not every day you're gonna catch the species that you're after. Accidentally caught a few perch and that's my full day fishing. <laughs> From early in the morning until late in the evening but on the bright side I saw some amazing scenery some amazing nature the, when the sun was shining through the rain and then uh, and then there was the rainbow it was worth it definitely definitely I would not have seen this if I was sitting at home or at work so guys I'm gonna go home I'm gonna take some rest and then I'm gonna think of a new lure for our box.